Hi, I'm Chris, product trainer at Boss Professional, and today we'll be looking at the GMS 120-27 Professional Detector or Wall Material Scanner. We'll be looking into its function, capabilities, and techniques to ensure accurate scanning results. The GMS 120-27 is an electromagnetic device with a maximum object detection depth of 120 millimeters. It is designed to be used in almost all materials, allowing for accurate object detection and object material discrimination. Designed to detect metal, both ferrous and non-ferrous, live wires and wooden objects such as studs. The product screen features an easy to understand center finder, offering clear visual guidance to identify the precise location of an object's center. It is important to note that the GMS 120-27 requires some space and a little patience to work accurately. However, the information gathered from careful use is of great value. If you wish for a detector to work in smaller areas or more quickly, without the need to know material composition, you may want to consider the Bosch Detect 120, which is a radar-based technology. The product's controls are simple, but important to understand in order to select the correct mode for detecting the appropriate object. This will ensure the most accurate results. The default mode is metal operating mode, Particularly suited for detecting magnetic metal, such as rebar, up to a maximum depth of 100 millimeters, and non-magnetic objects, such as copper piping, up to a maximum depth of 120 millimeters. Ferrous and non-ferrous objects are indicated using an icon at the bottom of the screen. In this mode, live wire detection is also enabled. This is suitable for detecting live wires up to 110 to 230 volts, up to a maximum depth of 50 millimeters with voltage applied. If you wish to find wooden studs in drywall, press the right hand button to enable drywall mode. This allows you to detect wooden studs up to a maximum depth of 30 millimeters. The non-metal object icon appears on the interface at the bottom. The product is also able to detect some cavities and maybe potential defects in the wall. Once the appropriate mode is selected, place the product in contact with the wall and begin scanning. There is a small sensor on the back that needs to be in contact with the wall before the tool activates. Move the product in left-right passes or up and down passes. Avoid moving the tool diagonally or in a mixture of X and Y axes in a single pass. The recommended number of passes is a minimum of three to get the most accurate results. If there is an object in range, the ring will turn from green to red together with an audible alarm tone. The screen will indicate using a number of rings to correlate the proximity to an object within the wall. The more rings displayed, the closer you are. Once you are over the center of an object, all the rings will be lit up and all four arrows will also be illuminated. The ring light will indicate red with a lightning bolt screen icon and an audible alarm tone if there is a potential of a live wire within the scan area. The product has some convenient notches on the edges of the product as well as of the obvious hole in the center of the sensor so you can mark the position of the object on the wall after scanning. Considerations and tips when using the GMS 120-27. Before switching on the measuring tool, ensure that the sensor area is dry. If necessary, use a cloth to dry the measuring tool. The tool is IP54, so resistant to dust and water, but keeping the tool clean and dry in operation will always ensure good results. If the measuring tool has been exposed to a significant change in temperature, leave it to adjust to the ambient temperature before switching it on. There is a warning icon that will appear if the tool has been subjected to a large fluctuation in temperature. Ensure that the sensor area is free from damage and do not place stickers in this area. Turn the tool on before placing it on the wall. As the DTEC 120 utilizes electromagnetic waves, it cannot penetrate foil, metal back panels, or metal foil wallpapers. You will likely receive a false object detection across the entire area. When you encounter instances such as that, you will be forced to use alternative methods. The following is especially important when attempting accurate live wire detection. Remove rings and other metal jewelry such as watches to reduce the potential interference. But beware of potential electromagnetic interference such as active Wi-Fi routers, mobile phones, etc. Static electricity can cause wires to be detected inaccurately. You may find a false reading across a wide area or it may prevent them from being detected at all. To improve detection, place your free hand on the wall near but not too close to the measuring tool in order to remove any static electricity. If you're wearing insulating gloves, remove them. 
to vastly improve live wire detection, ensure current is flowing by switching on electrical items, such as the room lights or other appliances that are connected to nearby plug sockets, in order to produce a sufficient electric field to surround the wire for the GMS to find. Please bear in mind that in certain conditions, live wires cannot always be detected, such as behind metal surfaces or behind surfaces with high water content. Please consider this when assessing the working area prior to scanning. The tool can only operate in no more than a maximum of 90% non-condensing humidity for reliable detection of objects. In order to maximize detection of electrical cables and wiring, scanning is best performed in conditions of humidity values of 50% or below. As the wall sensor is required to detect a wall before the sensor is activated, you may find that the GMS 120-27 is not initiating on very dark colored walls. To overcome these rare circumstances, if you encounter them, you may need to use something like a sheet of paper to activate the wall sensor. If a metal object is indicated, even when there is no metal object near the measuring tool, the measuring tool can be manually recalibrated. Ensure that the battery charge indicator shows the capacity of at least one third. Switch the measuring tool off. Remove all objects near the measuring tool away, including watches and metal rings. Hold the measure tool up horizontally so that the rear side of the measuring tool is pointed towards the floor. Switch to calibration mode, simultaneously press the on and off button and the audio signal button. Press and hold both buttons for approximately five to 10 seconds until the red ring flashes red. To start recalibration, press and hold the audio signal button for approximately five to 10 seconds. If the calibration is successful, the measuring tool will start up automatically after a few seconds and will be ready for operation again. So in summary, the GMS 120-27 is a quick, convenient wall scanner that when used correctly will allow for extremely accurate object detection. Now that you understand how the tool works, the limitations of the technology, but also advice on how to overcome those and overcome difficult situations, you will find this product an invaluable part of your day-to-day -day trade. If there's anything you are still unsure about, please feel free to re-watch the video or consult the instruction manual for additional information.